So I'm gonna show you how to diagnose electrical issues. So in this closet, no power to this. No power to this thing, right? This switch, this thing must be batteries going low, but no hot here. We got hot here. Right, so we have power there. Obviously no power up here. Even with the switch on, obviously because there's not power at the switch, so obviously it's not gonna be there. We got power over here. So we have it at the outlets. So now we have to find out where this power is coming from. So that outlet is also dead. But over here we have power. So we have power there. And then it dies here. So I know I have power there. And I know I have power at that outlet. Good thing is there's an access panel here. So somewhere in here, there's something disconnected. So we gotta find that out. So we gotta find the electrical. I'll be right back. So right here, we got a hot going underneath that probably goes over to the um, bathroom because there's the access panel and these run in there so that's that and that outlet that was dead on this wall is right here so so we have power coming in and no power going out and this one goes up so that goes to that light and then since it goes to that light, it probably travels over to the switch. So I bet you I'm going to take apart that outlet. I'm going to see if I can connect that and it'll fix everything. So also, what you commonly see, you know, the white's supposed to be the common, the black's supposed to be the hot, right? So this is the line that was dead, right? That's going up there. Look, the common is hot. So if you go to hook that up, wrong so what you can do here we're gonna test this out we're gonna wire nut these so i'm gonna put i'm gonna wire nut these not hook it up to an outlet and we're gonna see if we can get these other rooms to work <laughs> so also one last thing before i hook up before i decide to hook up the common as the hot so that the rest of the chain is labeled right i bet you this outlet over here is hooked up wrong and causing the common to be hot. So I'm gonna take this one apart and then we'll check this and see. So as of right now, they look right. So we got white going to this side, black coming to this side, and they look like they're hooked up right, right here. But this thing's so tight in here and the wires are so tight, I can barely get my screwdriver in here to get these off. So I'm going to extend these and obviously update this outlet. And then um, I'm going to see if that changed anything over there. And then we'll try to wire nut those together and see if we can get the light to work in that room again. So the good thing is this thing needed to come out anyway. We need to extend these wires. So now this circuit's dead right here at the bottom, right? So you got white and black. But this white here now is hot. So now we gotta just keep going down the line and finding out where the issue is to make sure shit's hooked up properly. <laughs> so all of these outlets were technically hooked up properly. This junction box is hooked up properly. The only one that it could be now is this one. So we'll see. It's not technically the end of the world if it's hooked up backwards. It'll still work in an outlet, but it's just when you go to hook up power and stuff like that, you want it to work right. So... And boom, there it is. They hooked it up wrong. They got a common on each side and that's right here is where it switches. And that's where the hot swapped over to the, the other side. That's it. So this wire on the top is going out. Or no, this one then. Yeah, and it's even on the wrong side. So this thing's completely hooked up wrong. So the good thing is that other one can go back in. I had to change that one anyway, and then I'm gonna hook that one up, right? And hopefully that bedroom light works now. We'll see. 
So we got all the outlets hooked up, all in the proper direction. And keep in mind, we had no power in this light, and we had no power in this one. So, I'm the truth. Goddamn, best in the business. 